Good morning and happy Tuesday. Yeah, staying home so much you sometimes forget even what day it is. But it's a lovely day. It's snowing. In fact, let me show you. Beautiful day. Snow, 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 and it's still falling. Beautiful. Now, what I want to do today is um, I wanted to plant some peonies that I bought, but I don't think the weather is right for it now. It says it can be planted in February, but I suppose when it said that, it didn't know that it would be snowing in February. Let me show you what they are. I bought them last week. So that's it. I love peonies and a friend of mine told me that she saw them in Wilco's for only two pounds. They're really beautiful plants. So I bought five of them. So that there. I might as well show you what else is in my box. <laughs> so more. I hope they really turn out lovely. But I don't know yet when now I'm to plant them. So I'm going to wait until I think snow has ended. And it says that, um, well, I'm not sure when the snow will end, but I'm going to wait until I'm absolutely sure there's no more possibility of any more snow. <laughs> but I love them. So plant February to May, it says, and it will flower in June to July. Perennials for the garden, patio, or planters. But it also says that in the first year, there might not be any flowers. So I'm going to plant them, wait a whole year for the first season. There might not be any flowers. And then after that, there should be some. So I'm looking forward to that. So five of them I bought. Those are the five. And then I also bought this vase or vase. And I'm hoping to do some DIY with it. I like um, these days I see some painted vases and um, s not sculpted but have texture vase with texture on and I want to try the technique so I bought this and guess what don't tell Wilkos but I bought one and they sent two so here <laughs> I got two for the price of one I bought one and I look back up my at my order to check to see did I order one or did I order two I checked I did order one but I got two so I'll count that as this one of this week's blessings <laughs> I bought this as well I've opened it already but Listerine and this particular one cool mint is what we use in the house I saw this big one on Wilco's cheaper than elsewhere so I bought it and then we've just we're just going to transfer some of it into the bottles in the two bathrooms so that was a good deal I don't remember how much now it was but it was a good deal and I also bought this toothpaste total Colgate advanced enamel health toothpaste now another thing I bought not from Wilco's this time this came with my Asda order is <laughs> Ferrero Rocher. I love, love, love Ferrero Rocher. And what we're planning to do is to make some Valentine's gift bags for three special people. And you guess who those special people are? They're our kids. <laughs> three of them. So we're going to make some Valentine's bags and I'm going to put some Ferrero Rocher in the bags as well. And also, I'm going to make a DIY craft. Now I've started a series on things that we can make 
from the things that we are accumulating at home now that we're staying home. So one of the things is this beautiful container that Ferrero Rocher comes in. I'm going to try and make a either two or three tier tray. Then I'm going to style it and then I'm going to show you how it turns out. So look out for that. In the meantime, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to our channel? If this is something that you like, seeing hauls, seeing recipes, seeing lifestyle videos, seeing what the weather is like, then why not subscribe? So I'm going to give you three seconds to subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button. One, two, three. Thank you. Now let's see what else there is to do today. Hi, me again. So my cherries box just came. I've been waiting for this. I think it takes too long because what date is today? Is today the 10th or 11th? Let me check. Today is the 10th of February and I ordered this from the 28th of January. So 10 and 3, 13 days. So that's the first thing I want to say. I don't know. I've watched Mr. Carrington unbox a cherries box and I've watched Luke, Luke Catlow Hello. and Lois, our new friend on YouTube, Lois. And they seem to get their cherries box really early, but I think they live in London. So cherries, if you're listening, for those of us who don't live in London, um, you need to figure out how to get our stuff to us sooner. But anyway, these are the things I got. I like this nice soft paper that covered the top of the things in the box. I like that. I think I told you, I'm, I'm not sure if I told you already, but we're going to be redoing our kitchen cupboards instead of them being um, brown, wood color, wood grain color. I don't want it that way anymore, so we're going to make it gray. Yes, not white, gray. We're going to do it gray. So we've bought everything that we need already, but the only thing we're waiting for is for perhaps the weather to change because I'm not sure if the paint will smell and I don't want to be locked in the house with this paint smell so i want instead to to um be able to open the windows for it to be okay well i just had to pause the video for a bit because my daughter came in to tell me that well she's um at university but in my house still she went off to university but because of this covid lockdown she's back home and she just came in to tell me that she got her first in her last three tasks that she did for uni so well done right back to the hall got this notebook i just like the design on it so line the paper but the design on the outside i really like and i want to create something in my craft world i want to create something with this design on i like it so i've got two of those I got this now this says it's beard conditioner and face moisturizer I don't have any beard my face needs moisturizing I suppose yes but what I want this for is for the bottle so it's beard conditioner which means hair and face moisturizer so I suppose it can be used as a conditioner hair conditioner so I'll use the contents of it but what I really want is this bottle like the look of it so I bought two I'm going to remove the label and I'm going to put my own label on and then use it in my kitchen so that's the other one I also get <laughs> rich tea biscuits in Jamaica rich tea biscuits are nice they're nice here most of the brands I don't remember if I've had lions before, but I like rich tea. I bought large freezer bags because we've run out and we need to decant stuff every now and again to put in the freezer. So we put them in these large freezer bags and then put them in the freezer. Sometimes, for example, I like okra. I don't know if you know okra. Another name for okra is bindi. I think B-H-I-N-D-I. -I. Um, we like it with fish. 
and we buy the bulk pack but it's hard to take out that big bag when you want to use it so we um, put some in smaller bags and then put those in the freezer right my girls like noodles so a big pack of five five packs of noodles in here should be two. Oh yes it is two. So it's just microwave plates you know the cover for the for dishes that you put in the microwave this the cover or it has gone discolored and I think it is from washing with hot water I'm thinking that might be it it, it has gone like solid white instead of transparent so it makes it look cloudy like it's dirty but it's not dirty we wash it all the time but I think it's just time to change. So we've got two of these. Now this is a pie dish. And what I have in mind for this is a craft idea. So that pie dish. Along with this pizza pan. So can you think what I'm going to make? Imagine it. So the pie dish will be here. There will be something else here. And then this. <laughs> Any ideas? Drop it in the comments. You won't see it right away because I'm not doing it quite yet. But tell me what you think I'm about to make with these two. Um, the pie dish and the pizza tray from Cherries. Let's put that here. I also got this. I hope you can see what it is can't say it because I think we have some snoops and this is for them and we also got pistachio so pistachio nuts we love we love all sorts of nuts and we have lots but it's a long time since we've had pistachio so that's why I bought these next is this and I can't say either but the smell is amazing but look Mm. thank you very much cherries so that's it for my cherries haul i hope to see you in my next unboxing see ya bye good morning happy brand new day to you um it's what day is it it's so hard to remember sometimes i think it is wednesday morning um valentine's day is sunday um, which other day is coming up? Shrove Tuesdays. Next week, Tuesday, and it's also Pancake Day. And Lisa said she wanted to make some pancakes, so I'm going to see what she's up to. Um, welcome back to our channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. We'd love to have you join our family. And also, today I'm going to finish up my craft ideas that I was doing. You'll see that in another video. But now, let's go check and see what Lisa is up to. Hi. <laughs> what are you up to? Well, I'm going to make some pancakes. The girls always like pancakes, so I want to make some for them. Okay. Um, Mario doesn't like pancake much, so I'm making fish for him. Yeah. <laughs> fish <laughs> well, and mash with a lovely sauce. Yeah. yeah. But you know what's a good idea as well? Maybe to show meals for a day. Yeah. Maybe Valentine oh, yeah. related meals oh, yeah. as well. So what I'm doing now is just to prepare the strawberries that are going to be part of the toppings for my for the pancakes. So what mm -hmm. I have here, I've got strawberries. Okay. I'm going to cut, wash these and then cut them up. I've got some cinnamon sugar, which is made with just two spoons of sugar and then okay. one spoon of cinnamon. All right. I've got golden syrup, lemon juice, maple syrup. So they okay. have a choice of what they want as their toppings. And then to make right. this. 
you need flour, 115 grams of self-raising flour. By the way, my teacher friend, Dion, yes. um, <laughs> shared this recipe with me years ago from my teaching days, and it's the best American style thick pancakes. pancakes yeah. So 115 grams of self-raising flour. You need a pinch of salt, so I'm going to use that to get the salt from. And then you need 140 mils of milk. This is um, semi skim milk. And you also need three eggs. So I'm going to make the pancakes. Set does it take long to make? It doesn't take long at all. So it will, oh, you need two bowls because you're going to separate the egg into the whites and the yolks. So okay. You go separately. So one's for that and then the other one for the flour and so on. You need a mixer, that means in this one. A whisk, electric mix. And whisk. electric okay. whisk, yeah. And that's it, and then when they're done, I'm going to show you what they look like. Okay. And do the girls know that you're making it? They don't know, so it's a big surprise for them. <laughs> so we just wanted to go get up and show up, because yeah. for the last few days I have not been feeling well. Just but I don't want Satan to hold me down, so get thee behind me, Satan. I'm going to do what I should do, so yeah. that's why I'm here and that's why I'm here. That's true. So I suppose just staying in your PJs all day and just feeling no, drab. We have work really to help. do, yeah. and we do the work in our PJs, but we're feeling nowadays that we're getting down yeah. because it's been so long that we haven't been outside of the house. Yeah. And I suppose our vitamin D levels are running low, running too. low as well, right. So as one well. of the things as well... When I wake up, if the sun is out, which rarely it is, but I want to be by the window so that I can get some of the sunlight and I know that will make me feel better. Yeah. A holiday would be good, but, but we just have to wait. <laughs> yeah, this morning I heard a news item on the TV that said, the government has said, do not book any holidays for this summer. Yeah. So I and hope so people are bearing that in mind yeah. and don't book the holidays and then... Complain. Say you want your money back when they refuse to give it back. Right. Now, let me show you an easy way to separate an egg. I see some people, I crack the egg in half in the middle, and then they try and do back and forth. But to me, that's hard. And some people put it in the palm of their hands and then run it through their fingers. I like to crack just a little bit of the egg at the top. So I get just a little hole at the top of the egg. And then if you do that... Ooh. Then just the white will fall out, and the yolk and the yolk in. will stay in the egg. Oh. So that's that's a nice a tip. Good tip, yeah. And I think I learned that either from Saint Jago, which is the Ooh. high school I went to in Jamaica, big up Saint Jago, or Michael Teachers College. I don't remember which one, but in food lessons, that's the way we learn to separate an egg. Uh, and that's easy for kids as well. It's hard for them to um, try to get the yolk out and the white yeah. separate. But okay. just making a little hole, just turning and pouring, you get the white out. All right, I'm going to leave you up to your pancake making. I'm yeah. going to get my, spray my, do my... Um, the glasses. Yeah, and there's a little bath oh, yeah. tub. That I'm trying to get ready for the bathroom as well. A small, tiny bathtub, you'll see. Okay. Anything ready to eat yet? No, but almost there. So in this, I've got the flour, the salt, the pinch of salt, the egg yolks, and the milk. And, and all I need fork. is just a fork yeah, okay. to mix this together. Then I'm going to be whisking the whites separately. Separately. That's in this. And you want to whisk until you get thick peaks.
So what we've just done is to aerate the mix. So the egg yolks now are, sorry, the egg white full of air. And that is what is going to give the pancakes the thick, fluffy texture. Fluffy texture. Right, so we can now remove the fork. And then gently fold in the egg whites. You don't want to mix it in too hard because remember this is full of air and that's what you want. You don't want to mix. knock the air out. You don't want to knock the air out. So gently fold this in. Oh, it does look puffed up. Not like a runny pancake mix. No. Ah. So the ones that you get in the supermarket in those bottles, <laughs> they're it's just the runny too, flat Yeah, ones. it's the runny okay. flat pancakes. But this More is like crepes. One. Yeah. So this is going to be nice. The American style ones. Thick American style. What's pancakes. your favorite topping to have with it? I like cinnamon, sugar, and lemon. I like that as well. I, I don't quite like the syrup. Yeah, the one syrup. syrup. No, honey, no. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. I like the lemon flavor and I also like cinnamon sugar. Okay. You go to fry. Well, is it called fry them or cook them? No, cook them. But <laughs> it's just got to be um, based in the bottom of the pan with a little bit of butter. Okay. You going to show us that? I'm going to show you that next. All right. just to base the bottom of the pan with oil and then use a ladle to pick up some of the mixture make sure none's on the bottom then pour in the middle of the pan and then use the ladle itself to make your round have you got a spatula to turn them with? Uh, are you going to flip them or? no I'm not good at the flipping so I'll leave the flipping to the Flipping experts, right? Easy as that, put the spatula under it. Flip. I think that one could do with a little bit more browning. browning. So I'm going to turn that over again. But that's but it. swelling up, it's puffing up. Yeah. And that's the idea of these American style pancakes. So I'll show you when I'm all done. So this is it, breakfast set for two girls, well, two young ladies, and it's one of their favorites, American style pancakes with toppings of their choice. So there is lemon, um, strawberries, cinnamon, sugar, maple syrup, golden syrup. They're going to have a feast and I'm sure they'll love it. So whilst they're enjoying their breakfast, we're going to get ourselves ready to package their Valentine's gifts. So we're preparing the gift bags for our loves, or three loves, or three children. Yep, that's one done, two to go. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching our videos and we hope you have enjoyed what you've seen. See you next time. Bye.